Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. So guys, as you all know that TCS interviews are going on for Ninja Digital and Prime Profile on different different campuses. So guys, in this particular video, I will be discussing today's TCS Digital Interview Experience for 2025 batch students. This interview happened today only that is on 14th November 2024. And guys, this particular interview will be very much beneficial for you because there are a lot of questions which are, have been asked from different different subjects. Okay, after watching this video, you will get a clarity on what to prepare. Okay, in this particular interview, questions related to projects and technology used in project are also asked. So, do not consider this video as just another interview experience, but it will be a very much informative video for all of you. And also, in the middle of the video, I will be also telling you about the resources from where you can prepare for your interviews. Okay, so guys, make sure to watch this video to the end. And do hit that like and subscribe button for this channel because lot of more videos I will be publishing in future. And guys, do join this Telegram group. This Telegram group is dedicated for 2025 by students. Okay, all the discussions related to different different companies are happening here. Thesis interviews are also going on. Accenture hiring is also going on. So all those things you will find in this particular group. Okay, the link of this channel you will find in the description box as well as in the pinned comment. Do join it. So guys, now let's start this video. And before starting the video. Please hit that like and subscribe button for this channel. <clears throat> okay, so guys, the first question is tell me about yourself. And guys, if you are following my channel, whether it is any company, whether it is TCS, Mindtree, Infosys, Content, all of them will be asking you tell me about yourself. Okay, so this question is very much important. You can include your education background, your skills, your projects, your internships, your any achievements you have, your extracurricular activities, your any research paper you have published. All these things you can include in this question. This is a very important question. The, the following questions that are asked from the interviewer can be based on the answer here. Okay. So I hope this is clear to you. Okay. So let's move towards the next question. Just a second. Yeah. Next is tell me about your project. So guys, if you are going for the interviews, try to make at least two projects in your resume. That is related to IT thing. Okay. The project should not be much complex, but it can be on the easy level also. But make uh, adding two projects in your resume will give a very good impression to the interviewer that okay while you are in the three year btech you have done some projects and you have the understanding of the technology okay and how to explain your projects in your interview i have made a dedicated video for it i can give you the link in the i button or in the description box do check them out okay uh, let's move towards the next question what programming language do you know so the guy answered c plus plus and python these two programming languages he knew okay next question is what is the difference between c and c plus plus so again if any difference is asked to you in the interview, kindly give at least two points of difference. C is a procedural style programming language. C++ is a object oriented language. Okay. Data is less secured in C. In C++, it is more secure. C follows top down approach. C++ follows bottom approach. Okay. C does not support function overloading because it is not an object oriented language. Whereas C++ supports object overloading. So all these type of differences you can tell to the interviewer. Kind to uh, try to give at least two to three points of differences. Okay, moving towards the next question. What are the things that make C++ an object on programming language? So in C++, we can declare class. We can uh, we uh, we can use objects. We can follow the OOPs principles like abstraction, inheritance, polymorphism, abstraction. All these type of things are possible in C++, but not in C. So therefore, C++ is an object oriented programming language. Okay. Next question is what is OOPs concepts? So there are four main OOPs concepts, abstraction, encapsulation, inheritance, polymorphism. Now, this is a very important question as per any interview is concerned. In 10 out of 10 interviews, this question will be asked. How to explain each and every part of these OOPs concepts? I have made a dedicated video for it as well, in which I have told you what is inheritance, types of inheritance with the help of code also, polymorphism, types of polymorphism with the help of code, what is abstraction, what is encapsulation, how to give a correct answer in the interview i have made a dedicated single video for this particular question the link again you will find in the description box or in the i button let's move ahead next is what is rdb rdbms okay so rdbms stands for a relational database management system is a program used to create update and management manage databases some of the most well known databases are mysql and postgres sql okay so this is what a database management system is i hope it is clear to you Next is what is SQL and full form of SQL. So SQL stands for structured query language. So see, we have tables in which data is there. 
now how to read that data how to uh, query that data how to update delete or insert anything in data so for that we need the structured query language that is sql okay i hope this thing is clear to you next is what are advantages of dbms so there are five bullet points you can explain to the interviewer so first of all better use of data or information so we can store everything in a structured query manner and we can extract the information from it okay then the data is secure in dbms uh, data inconsistency is very less in dbms better recovery and backup so we can have backup uh, we can easily backup our data in databases okay and fast data sharing so among two applications we can share the data uh, much much faster okay so these are the some of the advantages of dbms moving towards the next question what happens when you type www.tcs.com so again this is this question related to networking that how dns resolution works okay we all know that we just type the english alphabets like google.com tcs.com but how does the actual connection is established so what happens is first of all dns resolution is ha happened so when we type tcs.com so it is mapped there are dns tables at the back end this tcs.com domain is mapped to an ip address okay so dns resolution what it gives it takes the url as input and it gives us the ip address as output okay then is routing of that ip address happens from our current ip address of our computer to the ip address of tcs.com that routing happens we have seen different different algorithms in networking that how this routing happens from one ip address to another ip address lot of switches and routers are in place okay then for tcs.com it's a very big site global site so there are lot of <coughs> load balancers that are kept in middle so which load balances to so which load balancer to connect to it depends on various factors like which is the nearest uh, which is the nearest server or what is like that okay so this is what happens in tcs. Uh, when we type tcs.com basically uh, dns resolution and ip routing happens in the back end i hope this question is clear to you again it's a very important question as per the interview is concerned next question is what is the difference between tcp ip and udp algorithm protocols so tcp ip are reliable ensures data delivery with error checking okay whereas, whereas udp are unreliable does not guarantee data delivery uh, tcp ip are connection oriented and udp is connection less protocol this is the major difference between these two algorithms or protocols you can say okay okay so guys before moving ahead i would like to tell you that our, on our top mid page of code bashers we have important interview it subject notes if you will open these notes you will find then that in these particular notes we are covering total 12 subjects okay that is c++ java python dbms sql coding questions which are asked in interviews operating system interview questions networking interview questions machine learning cloud computing and managerial and hr questions also so for every subject in these particular notes we have a dedicated pdfs okay in those pdfs for every subject we have 20 to 25 commonly and important interview questions and answers so like in this particular interview experience we were discussing that questions related to c++ and java were asked c++ and python were asked so if i will show you that c++ pdf that you will get so you can see here in this particular pdf around 20 to 25 important interview questions related to c++ are there like what is the difference between c and c++ we have the question we have the answer and in some places if, if required we have the coding snippet also so that you can un easily understand that similarly we have the case with python uh, with python pdf also around 20 to 25 questions and answers which are important for interviews whether it is tcs or any other companies these questions you must know for every subject that we have covered here okay we have questions related to machine learning and cloud computing also questions as well as answers that you have to give in the interview okay so you can find all these things all these 12 subject pdfs in these particular notes okay and these notes are at a very nominal price of rupees 109 and they are if you will buy once the access is for the lifetime so if you are interested okay if you want to for your last minute preparation if you want to revise your concepts then these notes can be beneficial for you so if you are interested in buying these notes the links you can find in the description box as well as in the pinned comment and they are at a very nominal price of rupees 109 so guys now let's continue with the video okay so guys the next question is what are the advantages of python language see in the earlier question also the interviewer asked the candidate that what languages you prefer so he said c++ and python so the questions from both the languages are now getting asked but it is okay that if you say only one language either c++ or python or anything or java also okay so what are the advantages of python so python is readable 
versatile library okay cross platform compatibility community support is very good rapid prototyping okay so this is a very uh, good advantage of python language you can tell to the interviewer moving towards the next question is c++ a platform independent or not so no c++ is not fully platform independent this platform dependent language okay just one word answer next is why python is easy so it's is its syntax is very easy it's like an english language if you have worked on python you must be knowing it's just the uh it's just like you are writing a english like language okay so for i in loop this or for something like that okay so all these things make python very easy readable and easy to understand i hope this thing is clear to you just one thing to note here is python requires indentation by default okay next is 15 what is the list in python what are list in python so it is just one of the one of the data types in python so this is how a listed list is defined so in if in other languages arrays are there so there is list in python just the difference is that list is uh, a bit slower okay and uh, in particular list there are many multiple data types like if you will see in this example in this particular list the list there is integer also string also then float also and then an, another list also so in a particular list multiple data types can be included okay but in arrays for different languages only a single data type can be included i hope this is clear to you next is what are tuples in python so again tuples are immutable in nature lists are mutable in nature tuples are much faster than list okay and this is how we define a tuple if you can see my tuple is equal to then these two brackets 1 2 3 this is how a tuple is defined in python i hope this is clear to you next is what is machine learning now you will be wondering why machine learning question was asked that's why i was telling in the starting of the video that this video is very much important because machine learning <coughs> because uh, the project of this candidate was based on machine learning so therefore machine learning question was asked what is machine learning next question was explain supervised and unsupervised learning with the help of example next question was what is a classification and where we can apply it to explain with the example what is classification explain with the example again a machine learning question okay so guys the next question is what are the activation functions that you have used so guys see if you will notice that last three to four questions were related to the project i have told you in the starting also that was the shoot at the end because i wanted to show you that why the projects are very much important for your resume and why the preparation of those projects are important see anything you are mentioning in your resume you should know about them technologies that you have used in your projects technologies that you have used in your internships you can get the questions around them the tcs interview are not that much easy you should at least have the basic understanding of all the things that you have mentioned here i hope all these things are clear to you now i have discussed all the questions which were asked in this interview i will keep on making more such videos so that you get a fair amount of idea that what things you can, you should expect in the interview okay so guys this was it for this video but before moving ahead as i have told you already that we have in, important interview it subject notes in which we have covered almost all the subjects so these notes can be beneficial for you if you are doing your last minute preparations or if you are revising your concepts these notes can be beneficial for you If you are interested, the links are in the description box. Do check them out and do join this Telegram group. It is that it is dedicated for 2025 batch students. Okay, all the companies, all the discussions are happening in this group. Again, the links you can find in the description box as well as in the pinned comment. So, guys, this was it for this video. More such videos I will be posting in future. Make sure to be present on this channel. Thank you for watching this video.